and welcome, my name is Sideswipe and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to change your wheels on roller hockey skates and change the bearings. So without ado guys, let's get into today's video. This is the setup that I usually have, so I have two 80mm wheels here and two 76s here and we are going to be changing these wheels onto these and let me show you how. The first thing that you are going to need is a 4mm Allen key. Now I would recommend getting a set of Allen keys that will go up to anywhere from 10mm. So this is a 10mm set of Allen keys. It's very useful if you have a BMX or a skateboard and other roller skates. But if not, just get a 4mm Allen key. That is the first thing that you will need. The second thing that you are going to need is a screwdriver. Now, if you don't have any of these, but with your hockey skates, you are fortunate enough to get one of these tools, then I would recommend, out of all, everything that we have here, using this hockey skate Allen key right here. This comes with the Mission Skates. I'm pretty sure Bauer have their own one as well. Now, I like to start from the back and then work my way to the front, but you can pick whatever wheel you want. But the first thing you are going to want to do is if your skates are like mine and have the nut on the other side, flip your skates around and then you will want to put your 4mm Allen key into the 4mm nut hole and literally turn it to the left in, in order to loosen it. As you can see right here, turn it to the left to loosen it and then if you want to tighten it so your wheels are loose, then move it to the right. And once you have done that, that screw will come out. And then you want to take the next screw out, which is the one holding it all in. Now that we have taken apart the skate wheel, what you will want to do is you will want to grab a screwdriver, any one will do that will fit through the hole and push the bearing out. And you will want to push the bearing from this side of the wheel where the writing is. Now push it behind the wheel like so, and then just push it through. And as you can see right here, half the bearing is out. Take this part of the bearing out, flip it upside down, and then take the screwdriver off like that, and then just do the same on the other side, and that bearing will move like that. Now we have our replacement wheel. And for argument's sake, say this is our replacement bearing, what you would do is this side facing up, Take this wheel with the writing on on this side, line it up, and then on the then you'll want a flat surface like a table or something like that, and just push down like so until you hear a click. The bearing is now in place. So now what you will want to do is you want to take this bearing, line it up like we did, and then push down on a flat surface, and now the bearing is in place on the new wheel and as you can see it spins that's how you know that is working and it is not sticking out from either end and now guys for the final bit which is to take this and to put it on the wheel now I would recommend taking every single wheel off uh, before you do it but to save a bit of time and to show you guys how to put this wheel on I'm not going to bother but when you do it make sure every single wheel is off it just saves time and you can be a lot quicker when putting on the replacement wheels and the replacement bearings. Line it up to the hole just like this and then you will want to take the, your longest nut and then just fit it in just like this until it is lined up. Then you will want to hold it in and take the, your smaller nut and turn it round and place it into the hole like so and then just screw it in and at this point you will need to get your 4mm allen key I'd recommend using the longer side and turn it to the right in order to tighten it up notice that I'm holding this bolt in from this side so it doesn't fold up out that is so that you can have extra control when you are screwing in this nut onto your frame so your wheel doesn't move and then you want to use your the shorter side of the allen key once you know this wheel is in right and then just tighten it up the best way to know it's done is to have two fingers on it and if you feel any resistance then you know that it is tight enough 
And there you go, guys. That is how to put a new set of bearings and a new set set of wheels onto your skates. It is as simple as that. So as you can see, once you've put your wheel on, um, make sure that you double check it to make sure that it is in right. If you see a bit of resistance, you can always tighten it up. But you don't over tighten it or your wheels won't work properly. So I'd say from about there, my wheels are spinning okay and there isn't a lot of resistance. So that is the first wheel done. Do exactly what I just showed you for all the other wheels. As you can see right here in the time lapse, I'm literally just going through each wheel and rinsing and repeating the method that I have shown you in today's video. Yeah hey guys, now my Lebeda grippers are on my FZ0s and my Lebeda addictions will be used for another time. I hope that you guys have found this video useful. Please leave a like if you did and of course subscribe for more skate videos that happen every Sunday at 5pm. Comment down below your thoughts and any questions that you might have on changing your skate wheels or any questions that you might have with skating in general and I will be sure to reply to the comment or any comments that you guys might have. It's been your boy Sideswipe, I hope that you guys did find this video useful and I will see you guys in the next one, Sunday 5pm. Peace out and have a great day.